In this demo, we're going to use a straightforward but very powerful analytic application that helps us to explore bin wafer maps, transform data to create spatial signatures, rank and group those signatures, and finally correlate them to processing equipment in order to find a root cause somewhere in our factory. We don't have time today for all the details, but you can look on our website for a behind the scenes demo to learn how easy it is to make applications like this one with just a few point and click steps. All right, so let's get started. The first page of this analysis will help us explore sort bin data from our factory. Here we can see a display of the 50 most recently sorted lots, arranged by sort date, where each of the blue circles represent a single wafer. And the vertical axis shows the summarized yield or percentage of bin 1 for that wafer. Let's investigate what's going on with our lowest yielding wafers in the last few days. We can mark them and the other charts on the page jump into actions, showing us a few different ways to summarize the data from these wafers and of course also showing the detailed sort bin wafer map below. This concept of drilling to details using marking is pretty simple and intuitive, but it's a very powerful technique in Spotfire. Marking allows us to use visual clues like a group of outliers or a trend or cluster of data and focusing on just that subset, explore it in a way that we would like without losing the original context. For more complex data like parametric or functional test data, we can even use automated AI recommendations to find correlation between a marked subset and thousands of other variables. So, back to this group. The summary bin percentage chart shows that we definitely have more bin 2 and bin 4 than we want. These other two charts summarize yield by what you might call wafer zones. We can see depressed yield at both of the center and edge of the wafer and perhaps a little bit in certain mask positions. Turning to the wafer map, we clearly have elevated bin 2 on the edge of some wafers and splotches of bin 4 in the center, or some other wafers. This analysis has multiple sets of marking configured, so we can interact with the summary charts for further filter what we see on the wafer maps. Here showing that bin 2 signature even more clearly. What is causing these issues? We definitely have some problems to solve. Spotfire tries of helping you find answers and detailed technical data like this, so let's keep going. Now, a semiconductor professional would know that these spatial distributions are surely caused by, say, an out of calibration tester, malfunctioning equipment, or a process anomaly in the fab. If we can analyze this data and figure out the root cause, the test or process engineers on our team can fix the issue. Okay, so somehow we need to make a list of problem wafers. Could we just mark them individually? Sure, but we want a large dataset to do a real investigation. And since we already have 1.8 million rows of data in this analysis, it would take a long time to weed through hundreds of wafers to mark them manually. What if we could do something smarter than that? We already have a few columns in the dataset that define if a chip is in a particular zone. We can use Spotfire's data wrangling capability to compute some new variables from these that will not only help to identify wafers within a certain signature, but also rank them according to how strong that signal is. In this analysis, we use a Spotfire transformation to calculate the density of each bin in each zone. In other words, for a given wafer, what percentage of each area in each zone is bin 1? What percentage is bin 2? and so on. Once we do that for all combinations, we can make a completely new data table from those results using Spotfire's pivot transformation. On the next page, you can see what the new derived data looks like, visualized as a line chart. Each wafer and bin combination has a distinctively shaped line. For example, this wafer has a spike for bin 2 density on the edge and these other zone densities are lower. And we can clearly see the green spikes associated with those green center block wafers. And we can see more subtle patterns we might not have detected before, such as a wafer with a strong density of bin 7 and certain mass positions. Cool, right? Before we go on, I want to show you what this looks like under the hood. If we flip over to the Spotfire data canvas, we can see all of the calculations and transformation that we have done to create this zone table. This box derived from the base wafer data table 
captures the set of calculations that make up the circle zone, part of the zone profile table, this one for the marked zone, and so on. All of the calculations are laid out here for you to inspect or edit. So you might think that you have to start here and create this data transformation graph blindly by connecting boxes and lines. But actually, Spotfire creates the graph for you automatically. Let me say that again. As an analyst, all you need to do is just calculate and transform your data in an ad hoc way. And those steps are all recorded and organized for you in this easy to understand format. In a future demo, we'll dive deeper into how to actually do these calculations. But for now, let's continue with our story. Remember, we want to get a list of wafers that have this problem and rank them according to how seriously they suffer from it. Let's mark a wafer that has a particularly high value for the bin 2 edged zone and then bring in the magic of data science. We'll open our analytics tool menu and choose line similarity. Using the mark record as our pattern, we can score all of the other wafer and bin combinations to which has the most similar shape. Now I've brought that ranking result out here front and center as a filter. And this might be my favorite part of the demo. We can reveal our worst wafer just by sliding the filter. Voila! All of what you've seen is what we mean by visual data science. We use a combination of easy visualization, filtering, marking and transformations to enable us to spot outliers and anomalies. And then we use advanced and often industry-specific calculations and functions to further reveal similarities, cluster and correlations that we can dig into. So now we need to make that list. Would it surprise you to learn that Spotfire has a list management tool? All we have to do is mark a chunk of these wafers, open the list tool and choose the new list for mark button. We call this bad. We can grab a control group too, in other words, wafers that do not have this problem. If we make the profile for bin 1 visible, the wafers with the highest yields are up there. We can mark a group of those and make a good wafer list. There is some awesome list logic we can do, including something simple like removing a pesky edge bin 2 wafer that showed up in both groups. Because although it had the signature, it also had relatively high yield. Another great thing about lists is that they are actually stored outside of the data. So they are useful for bringing important information from one analysis to another. You might want to keep a list of lots reserved for a certain customer or wafers of an experiment, or a list of equipment that needs characterization. Speaking of equipment, this analysis automatically brings back the equipment processing history for all of the wafers we've marked in that very first step. Here's what the data look like. We have the equipment used for about 400 processing steps here, where each row is one wafer and each column is the equipment used at the given step. Now we can grab these two lists and apply them as a label or tag in this equipment data that will designate each wafer as belonging to either the bad or good group. Finally, we can grab another advanced analytics tool that has options for finding data relationships among thousands of numerical and categorical parameters. We can choose a chi-square test and compare the bin2 problem column that we just made with all the other equipment columns. The default analytics panel has just a few tools, but there are over 40 advanced methods that are free to download from our community, ranging from statistical process control, various machine learning approaches, image analysis, NLP, and many more. In fact, Spotfire natively supports Python, R, and Statistica, so that your statisticians can create custom tools for you that you just drop into the menu. Okay, the result of our chi-square test is a ranked list of correlations. Clicking on any row in the table automatically displays those relationships. And at the top of our list, we can see for metal one edge, there is a strong correlation of those edge problems with pro processing on chamber C of edge number six. Well, I think we found our root cause. We're going to need to work with our edge process engineer to see what went wrong on metal one. The good news is that with Spotify powerful time series data analysis, she can probably resolve that process issue quickly too. 
So, in just a few minutes, we walk you through interactive wafer maps, zone profiles, taking our equipment data, and finding the root cause of a serious yield problem. This demonstration only scratches the surface of what is possible with visual data science and high-tech manufacturing with Spotfire.